Annie the Actress. Once upon a time, in the charming town of Performville, lived a talented and imaginative actress named Annie. Annie had sparkling brown eyes, a cheerful smile, and a closet full of costumes that transformed her into different characters. She loved bringing stories to life on stage and making people laugh, cry, and dream. Every morning, Annie would wake up early, warm up her voice, and head to the Performable Theatre. The theatre was a grand building with red velvet curtains, shiny wooden floors, and rows of seats that filled with eager audiences. Annie loved the theatre and the magic that happened there every day. One sunny morning, Annie received a letter from the mayor of Performville. Dear Annie, a group of children from the nearby town of Storyville wants to visit our theater and learn about acting. Can you give them a special tour? Annie's eyes lit up with excitement. I'd be delighted to. I'll prepare a fun and magical day for them, she said. When the day arrived, a group of excited children gathered at the entrance to the Performable Theater. They were greeted by Annie, who had a big smile on her face. Welcome to the Performable Theater, everyone. I'm Annie, and today we're going to explore the wonderful world of acting together. The children's eyes widened with excitement. We love stories. They cheered. Annie led the children into the theater, where she had set up various stations with different activities. Let's start with some warm-up exercises, she said, guiding the children to a big open space. Actors need to warm up their bodies and voices before they perform, Annie explained. She showed the children how to stretch, make funny faces, and practice tongue twisters. The children giggled as they followed along, feeling silly and energized. Now, let's try some acting games, Annie said, leading the children to the stage. She handed out small cards with different emotions written on them. Happy, sad, angry, surprised. Pick the card and act out the emotion without using words. The rest of us will guess what it is. The children took turns picking cards and acting out the emotions. A boy named Max pretended to cry, and the children guessed he was sad. A girl named Emma jumped up and down with a big smile, and everyone knew she was happy. Great job, everyone. Acting is all about expressing emotions and telling stories, Annie said. Next, Annie led the children to the costume room. It was filled with racks of colorful costumes, hats, and props. Costumes help actors become different characters, Annie explained. Let's dress up and create our own play. The children excitedly picked out costumes and props. Max chose a knight's armor, and Emma picked a princess dress. Other children dressed as pirates, animals, and fairies. Annie helped them with their costumes and then gathered them on the stage. Let's create a story together, Annie said. Our play will be about a magical adventure in a faraway kingdom. The children's eyes sparkled with imagination. Annie started the story. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom, there lived a brave knight, a kind princess, and a group of adventurers. One day, they set off on a quest to find a hidden treasure. The children took turns adding to the story, 
acting out their parts and using their costumes and props. Max, the brave knight, led the group through an enchanted forest. Emma, the kind princess, used her magic wand to help her friends. Together, they faced challenges, solved puzzles, and finally found the hidden treasure. As the play ended, the children took a bow, and the imaginary audience, composed of their fellow students, clapped and cheered. Bravo, bravo, Annie said, clapping her hands. You all did a fantastic job. After the play, Annie gathered the children in a circle. Acting is about using your imagination, working together, and having fun, she said. You can be anyone you want to be and go on amazing adventures. The children nodded, their faces glowing with excitement. We had so much fun, Annie. Thank you for teaching us, they said. Annie smiled warmly. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Remember, the world is your stage, and your imagination can take you anywhere. As the day came to an end, Annie gave each child a small gift, a notebook and a pencil. These are for you to write your own stories and plays. Keep dreaming and creating. The children hugged Annie and promised to come back soon. They left the theater with happy hearts and heads full of stories waiting to be told. That evening, as Annie tidied up the theater, she thought about the joy and excitement of the day. She loved sharing her passion for acting and seeing the children's imaginations come to life. Before going to bed, Annie looked out her window at the moonlit town and whispered, Theater is a magical place. I'm so grateful to share its wonders with others. Moral of the story asterisk. Acting is about using your imagination, expressing emotions, and working together to create stories. It's a wonderful way to explore different characters and go on amazing adventures. And so, Annie the actress continued to bring stories to life on stage, always ready to inspire and entertain. She knew that with every performance, she was spreading the magic of theater and helping others discover the joy of acting.